Hello. I believe we should be live. Uh, there was a bit of a false start then. I tried to click the go live button and um, YouTube told me that that was not possible. But uh, it does appear that things are now working. Let me know if you can see me, uh, if you can hear me. Uh, both those things would be very useful uh, to be. It's always nice to be reassured that things are, are working, I think. Um, I'm also going to... Oh, thank you, Mugafugger, for... Uh, where's our chat? Thank you, Mugafugger, for uh, your confirmation. That is much appreciated. Uh, Paul saying hit her with a poll tax. That is... I feel like you've been spending the... However many hours since I uh, uploaded the, um, you know, put the thumbnail and, and scheduled the stream, uh, the stream, sorry, I feel like you've been using all of that time to uh, come up with that uh, fantastic joke. Uh, uh, watching the world saying, can see in here, but seem choppy. I've made sure that I've not uh, had uh, the VPN uh, sort of live again. I, I did that a few weeks back tonight and it took me about 25 minutes to work out exactly what was going on. Um, the Forcyon rule says, yes, both does those things. Amazing. Uh, my God, uh, Paul says, can see and hear. Perfect, perfect. How is everyone? I'm going to very quickly um, do a community post on... Ah, on... um. Uh, my main channel, uh, sorry, and beautiful, beautiful content, isn't it, to watch me quickly write out a thing, um, being gripping stuff, uh, but, uh, I think, I think this will be a lot of fun, because yes, as Paul has hinted, uh, this evening, we are going to be playing a game, he says, in, uh, sort of jigsaw-esque fashion, um, I have Thatcher's Tech Base, which is a mod for the game Doom 2. I don't know why they chose Doom 2 rather than Doom. There may be, there might be Doom experts in the uh, audience that can... Audience in the... Um, audience actually probably is a correct term, right? For people in the chat. In the chat, that's the word I'm looking for, um, who can explain to me, because uh, I slightly um, did realise that I had, uh, that we did have, and I think it came free with a, like it might have come free with a magazine or something, you know, marketing. like how you used to get, like, free CDs with, like, computer magazines. I feel like at some point when I was younger, my dad had bought a, uh, you know, computer magazine and a copy of one of the Dooms, and I think it was Doom 3, came with it. Um, now, I wasn't very good at it, and I think what I did is I got, like, to the end of one level and then could never work out what I was meant to do next, like, so I was just stuck in this room. And then when I was, uh, you know, I quickly I quickly went to the game and, like, you can see, although this is the opening screen, this is where it opens, but I quickly went and just tested it, make sure it would work for the stream. Um, I still couldn't manage to, uh, like, it took me ages. Uh, the stream, maybe? Let me know in the chat if that is a problem. Um, watching the world is saying that Doom 2 is a better engine. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I guess that would make... I guess may make sense maybe if it was a couple of years later or whatever. Um, uh, the Animal Farm one. Um, okay, what am I putting in this post? We're sending Thatcher back to hell. It's in gripping content watching me write a post, isn't it? Uh, we're sending Thatcher back to hell in this evening's stream. Come join us. That's what I've gone with. That's what I've gone, gone with. Uh, and I'm going to post... Still saying no data here. Oh, excellent connection. That sounds like what I want to hear. 
Do we have an excellent connection at all? Maybe, maybe restarting it was precisely what I need. Let me know in the chat if we have what YouTube is describing as an excellent connection because I'm still distrustful of it. Secret Asian Dan says, you're back. I'm back. Watching the world says, see and hear you. Jahaya says, all right, buffering stopped. Oh my goodness, we've solved it by just disconnecting and reconnecting to the Wi-Fi. Um, what a joy. My, my dream at, would, at some stage would be to be able to Ethernet cab cable the computer into the box. But the box is downstairs. And I think I could do the thing where you thread it through the wall. But there's like a sort of... Where it would go downstairs, there's like a weird thing. So I'd have to then like... I think it would be slight... It wouldn't be simple. But I feel like... One weekend after, like, maybe I've had, like, a week of, like, lots of writing and I want to do something practical, I might try and do that. Um, uh, if you never hear from me again and I just disappear, it is because I tried drilling into a wall and electrocuted myself. Um, Shahaya says, damn, Professor is a tech whiz. Paul's saying you can hear him again. Okay, went off for two minutes. Yeah, I just, I just disconnected from my Wi-Fi and reconnected. But we appear... To be working, which is amazing. Okay, are we ready for Thatcher's tech base? Oh, I should have put the chat on the same. See, I'm not very good at this video game stream thing. I'm not set up for that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chat about stuff and and watch videos guy. Not um, I'm not a, I'm not a. So we're gonna, we're gonna. The soundtrack is pretty good. How are we volume wise? Are we? It's pretty. It's pretty great. Um, pretty great soundtrack. I'm not gonna lie. How are we? How are we volume wise? Is the balance between me and the music okay? Sean says good. Sean is positive about this. Secret Asian Dance is not horrible. I like that. Never be too positive about anything. That's good rule. I'm gonna slowly volume five percent too high. Do you mean the music? Oh, it stops if I click over there. I've turned it down a tiny bit. Let me know. I mean, you're only gonna be missing the sound of things breaking. Okay. Thatcher's tech base. Oh, oh, I'm too loud as well. I can, I can solve that. Okay. Thatcher's tech base. Here we go. So this is a mod of, of Doom 2. I spent my afternoon getting into um, getting into working out how to load Doom mods onto my computer, which is something I never thought I would find myself doing. Um, and as we will find, it, uh, I don't know if the levels are similar in any way, and it's just I, it's more than a reskin as I understand it. Um, in that, we find ourselves in London. Oh no, I've hurt myself already somehow. We find ourselves in London, um, and as we find out, uh, Margaret Thatcher has escaped from hell. Oh, so yes, no secret, secret agent says austerity. Wait, if I go, oh, I'm just gonna wait. If I go new game, the, the, I think the most difficult version is called austerity. I'm gonna go for when I was just seeing whether it would work, I went for I'm too young to die. I think I'm gonna go hurt me plenty so that. There is some kind of... I don't want to have to play every level a million times. Um, so the theming gets on quite quickly. We have uh, Big Ben over there. Oh, I'm not pressing the right keys. That would help. We have Big Ben. Uh, so we are in the city of London somewhere. UAC. Is UAC the company from Doom? I've not played enough Doom. Uh, we have some Lambert and Butler fags. Can I pick those up? You know. uh, the one thing I did discover is... Uh, are these cans of... Uh, you gain health by snatching the snatching the milk. Oh, they're embassy fags, eh? Oh, sorry. Uh, my, my apologies. I don't know if these cans are meant to be fosters. Um, I don't know if you... Because there is some way where you can, like... When I was practicing it, you can like collect the fag somehow, but I can't I can't work out how to do so. Whether you punch them and it goes like you smoked a ten pack, but uh, 
so you know, just so we are 100% in, in Britain. Um, yeah, does anyone know, is anyone more knowledgeable about the Doom franchise than me and knows whether um, UAC is the company from Doom or whether this is something that's just, Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. Is that gone? Did I destroy that? Okay, there was... Paul was asking whether Norbert, Norman Tabbitt was going to appear. Um, I think that was him. So I've been down this lift. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have been down this lift before just to make sure the game worked. Uh, and I guess we're going to hell. Um, minimal. Oh, okay. Oh, crikey. Oh, it's a lot. This game, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite timing. It's quite. It's quite sort of timing. Can I get in there? I can't get in there. Am I playing as Michael Foot on steroids? Michael Foot, late of this parish. Um, Michael Foot uh, was a Plymouth boy. Uh, as am I. Uh, this is a bad guy. This is it. Obviously, is keeping some aspects of of Doom. Oh, skull. Oh, no, 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 no. not a fan of that. It's like quite. Timing heavy. Okay, help. I'd like some health. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, okay, so this is the Falklands. Um, this is this like the capture of Port, recapture of Port Stanley. Uh, we have the United Kingdom, minus a little bit at the top. Uh, we have UK base. We have just a picture of Thatcher. Uh, we have some graphs and uh, the and Big Ben. Is that Half-Life Six sound effect? Sherman Lemon saying, "I don't know. I've not, I've not played Half-Life Six. I'm afraid." Uh, Area Thirty Four. Okay, we have more. So we have like spitting image, and that's is that Northern Ireland? Oh, no, that must be Falklands again with the minor strike. More protest, which might be minor strike related as well. I'm not sure. Uh, the one in the middle is her spitting image puppet. We have a um, thing of her at Tory Party conference. I believe that photo might be. Okay. Warning. Warning. Subject. Maggie attempting escape. I'm guessing we are trying to stop this from happening. Um... Okay. Uh, does anyone has anyone played? Um, okay, Alex Potts, live in the US here. Live, live in the US here. You are also probably presumably live in the US. Uh, education system failed me on who Thatcher is. Margaret Thatcher is the um, is was a former uh, prime minister of the United Kingdom. Uh, and I suppose the way to describe her would be as sort of the R equivalent to Reagan um, in terms of being obsessed with privatization and um, beating the trade unions. Um, I think predated um, predated Reagan. I think she was elected first, I believe. Um, Emergency lockdown. Um, Express elevator. The United Kingdom. Tenth circle of hell. Uh, okay. So I. So the sort of U.S. equivalent of this would be. Um, oh my goodness! That is terrifying. Can you make that out? Oh, I, that is... Oh. Okay, and then I think I have to drop here. That is absolutely... That pattern of the face is absolutely terrifying. I should have tried to get the chat on this screen, shouldn't I? Am I going to have to jump? It sort of still gives me vertigo, even though it's 100% not real, but... Uh, I'm descending down the service industry. I'm. That was my race to the bottom. Okay. 
I just watched a documentary, motherfucker is saying. <laughs> Ow, bother. I tried to punch it and managed not to. I just watched a documentary that I can't remember the name of that outlined the parallels between Thatcher and Reagan. Yeah, they look very much at the same time and similar like supply side. Uh, I cannot. Oh, crikey. <laughs> it's very, um, timing related because you have to like get in and place at the right time. Or you just end up walking into them, and that's obviously, like, bad. Oh, Captain in the 21st Century. So one of the only... I have very few cool YouTube things. Like, no, no, I have, like, many cool YouTube things. Many few, like, um, sort of stereotypical influencers. Oh, no, I died in the bloody credits. Am I going to have to start again? Oh wait, did the game just disappeared? Okay, we're going hey, not too rough. The game appears to have just disappeared from your screens, is that right? That should not be... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry everyone. Sorry. I pressed the... It does remind me. I will open Firefox for any, um, thing. So I... What got to... I don't get loads of cool, sort of, stereotypical influencer things, but I did get to watch the, um, I did get to watch Capital in the 21st Century, the film version of the, um, book, uh, early. I got a link to a screener, which was very cool. Um, other than that, I got some free books from Verso once. Thank you very much, Verso. That was very kind. Um... Uh, also, Eric is saying game audio is very loud compared to me. Yeah, I think it's also it's not super important the game audio, is it? Uh, there is some some bops, I guess. Do I have to start from the very beginning? I'm gonna go. Hey, not too rough, I think. Okay, right. We are aware that we are in London. Booze and fags, booze and fags. I'm gonna get some of this health, and then I'm gonna. Try and not die at the credits. This is embarrassing, actually, playing video games in front of people, isn't it? Why do people do this? Why would... Big monster. Oh, no, I went on an easy mode, didn't I? Um, this is... I, I don't... Like, what do people do if they're not very good at video games? I suppose not become video game streamers. Okay. Oh, so I think there's basically just no bad... There's just no, like, baddies in this point. I had to press that. Okay. I think... This is better than I ever did on a copy of Zoom 3 I had as, as a youngster. So... Okay. Maggie has still escaped. Or is still attempting escape. Um... God, how embarrassing would it be if we just ne- Oh! 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 Take that, Michael Hessel time. <laughs> um, I don't know- I, I don't know how many, um, I'm playing mouse and keyboard. Should I be playing controller, do we think? Do we think I've chosen the wrong option? Think. Okay, I'm gonna sprint. I did look up the controls, because I couldn't work them all out earlier. Initially, whoa, okay, so thank you to Jim Purvis for directing this. Oh, yes. That was good. It's quite satisfying when you do get them. Oh. We tried doing, we did, what other political sort of video games have we done on the stream? We did, oh, we did a bit of Tonight We Riot. That was sort of fun. I don't think it, it wasn't like... Um, it was like, it's sort of like a... Ow, brother. I'm just gonna run, I think. I'm just not gonna... This game is dedicated to everyone that Thatcher hated, and everyone who hated Thatcher. These creepy faces, if you look really closely on this wall, you can see these horrible, creepy faces. I'm not such a fan. Like, that will be in my nightmares. Um, I'm just going to sprint in the hope that... Oh, okay. That well. Okay, I made it. 
I, I'm enjoying how obnoxiously loud some of the sound effects are. There's a path. Okay, entering Thatcher's tech base. The dead speak. The world has heard a mysterious broadcast. A threat of revenge in the sinister voice of the late Baroness Margaret Thatcher. Faced with the return of one of humanity's greatest threats, you have no choice but to head to the tenth circle of hell, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and investigate the underworld fortress known as Thatcher's Tech Base. Okay, Shihai is doing our like literary analysis of, of, uh, of this game and asking thematically how the demons related to Thatcher. I mean, I can only imagine that she has bended the demons to her will uh, because they were also Uh, I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it right down. Let me know if that's too. Let me know if that's too quiet. Um, Thatcher's tech base isn't that just MI5? GCHQ maybe? Is that the is that the tech base equivalent of um of uh rather than MI5? Okay. I just want to continue the game. I don't want to start again. We've done that already. Okay. Here we go. Why do I seem to get hurt whenever I just start the game? So, the UK's national anthem is like the worst national anthem on earth because A, it's not really about anyone other than the Queen and it's just a horrible tune. That was a sort of okay. Is this a baddie? Okay, yes. Um, but, that was a kind of cool. Oh, this ammunition. Yeah, got you. But that was a kind of cool thing. Is if I can just punch him really and kill them really easily, I'm not going to waste my ammunition. Here. Is this an ammunition scarce game? Does that, if anyone, if anyone knows much about this game, I would appreciate. Oh, can I just shoot them out the window? Ah. Oh. I have bullets then. Well, so much for having bullets. Don't just hope for a better life, vote for one. Oh. That came from nowhere. Oh, it's like armour. Um. Yeah, say what you like. Had good. Had good slogans. Oh, health, 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 health. In the form of milk cartons. Um, oh, fuck Secret is revealed. I feel like that was a joke that I didn't entirely understand. Wait, what? Do I not have... You're already dead, Kraus. Uh, Shahaya says, thematically, I think demons represent the atomization of the individual and their separation from society and their local community. Okay, uh, Shahaya is in charge of doing the sort of thematic analysis of this game as we play it. Um, Septile Shiv says, the demons represent the devil that Thatcher sold her soul to in order to gain power. A bit on the nose if you ask me. Um, I don't have to aim up and down. Does it just always... No matter where I'm looking. Okay, I want as much, like... I thought I had loads of armor. I've not got very much health. I'm not great on the health side of things. Oh, some milk. Pure evil. Not you again. We only have to be lucky once. That is, um, the famous, uh... Uh... IRA threat to Thatcher with uh, um, we only have to be lucky once, you have to be lucky every time. Um, so I want to go through there at some point, clearly. Oh, but I don't want to stand on that. Okay, that's annoying, but there's some health. Uh, so I don't want to stand on the green stuff. 
Good to know. Can I open that? I can't open that. Okay, let's go through here. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure too much responsibility. Okay, there is a statue. We have two portraits of Mark Thatcher. We have a statue of Thatcher through here somewhere. Another, another tenny. Always take a tenny to the maze with you. Okay, I picked up the cigarettes, but I don't know what that does. Oh. Can I just... I don't know how sophisticated the, like, cover... Oh! Like a sort of invisible monster. Kill this monster that I can barely see. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna run. Did he drop anything? I'm not sure he did. Do they drop things? If anyone's more knowledgeable about um Doom, let me know. <laughs> you know how the game works, that'd be helpful. I want whatever gun he's got. That looks good. I've only got five percent health, okay. Okay, there is a statue. Any health? No. Okay, this is a statue of Thatcher that was unveiled somewhere. I can't remember where it is. In, par in Parliament, maybe? Parliament Square? Is any of this health? I have 1% health. We're looking for some milk cans. The invisible hand of the market. Do we know much about the makers of this game? Says Sean. Um... I will look it up in a second, actually. Uh, I did read an article about how it st all started as a bit of a joke, and then they eventually just sort of actually made it. Like, this seems like it's taken quite a bit of effort, right? I don't. I'm not an expert in. Oh, this looks. There's a lot that looks promising around here. Any milk? Yes, help. Okay. Um. I assume this is probably... Oh! Do we do, do we get like headshots in this game? Oh no! Do I just have to start again? Okay, auto save. Hopefully... Where is this auto save? Okay, we're back here. Oh, we can look up. Okay, uh, Firefox. Let's take a brief, brief break from me being terrible at this game to learning a bit about it. So this is where I downloaded it from. It was quite an involved process to download... Um, because I obviously had to do... Oh, okay, sorry, we have someone who knows how to play in the chat. We have someone who knows how to play. Okay. Uh, so. No Jukuska says, uh, the grunts should drop ammo, not the biters. Aiming up and, and down while shooting does nothing with regards to hitting it. Hitting it's a bit strange. Okay, that makes sense. That it sort of makes you think like it's going to be... Um, it's going to... And be, be important, but it's not. Um, the dead speak. Yeah, so this was this was where I found the game. The world has heard a mysterious broadcast, a threat of revenge in the sinister voice of the late Mar Baroness Margaret Thatcher. Um, as we as we learn in the uh, in the intro. Um, credits or oh, media? Should we look at media, or is this going to be as trailers and stuff? I wonder whether it's going to be like information. Cool box art. They yeah, they did do um pretend box art for it. It seems like I now can't click okay, credits. Directed by this is just the credits that we've already read because we reference materials ungratefully provided by the Conservative and Unionist Party of the United Kingdom, the Margaret Thatcher Foundation, the British Broadcasting Corporation. The guy who got me a book on how to make Doom Wads, <laughs> David Uh Okay, 
and then this is all I guess people who have helped um But yeah, I did find I'm sure I did find an article about it. there was a few articles about it. Okay, this is from uh the sixteenth. This is like fifteen days ago. Um Inside Thatcher's tech base, the Doom mod that lets you kill Margaret Thatcher. Uh spoilers. Uh Tech uh Thatcher's tech base creator Jim Purvis on sa on Satire Thatcher and the explosive response to his unexpected Doom mod. Uh, next week, Jim Purvis is bringing the world a Doom mod that will allow you to kill former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. In the credits, the game is listed... Yeah, we know that. Uh, a love letter from Scottish creators to one of humanity's greatest threats. Uh, it's controversial, it's crazy, and it's already taken the internet by storm. Uh, oh, it went to the front page of r slash games. Uh, and John Romero's seen it. Uh, I was hoping Thatcher Tech Base would do all right with my Scottish pals and other known Thatcher haters, but I never managed it, imagined it would end up on the big gaming sites or be analysed by professors at Manchester and Liverpool University. Oh, uh, right, that's really that's really interesting. Uh, the response outside the UK has been shockingly huge too. Argentinians and Brazilians have been going for it, uh, and now I'm rushing to get Spanish and Portuguese translation. Oh, wow. Uh, it seems like the world has it in for Thatcher, right? So... Uh, Questionable foreign policies and classist outlook is an interesting way to uh, do that. Uh, Shahaya says, I could be wrong, but wasn't the invisible hand only used once in uh, Wealth of Nations and wasn't the concept something like how the invisible hand would stop investors from investing outside of Britain out of patriotism? Um, I'm not even sure it's the, the full phrase invisible hand. I'm, I might... No, no, I think it is, actually. I think it is. But it's not, like, invisible hand of the market. Um, but, uh, but yes, I think you're right that it's that's used at least seldomly, even if not only once. Um, uh, okay, so this is sort of the story of John Purvis, the guy that made the game. I'm from a town called Copebridge, just outside Glasgow, that was badly affected by Thatcher's infamous policies on heavy industry and social housing in the 1980s. So, uh, sort of a couple of Thatcher things. Um, one, she was big on, like, not supporting industries that couldn't uh, sort of support themselves, I guess. So, stuff like subsidy to manufacturing um, industries to make sure that the UK could manufacture stuff, which I guess with COVID and the world pausing and then the thing where the big boat got stuck and, you know, you you learn um, why it's maybe good to have things be able, you know, particularly if you're an island, to be able to produce stuff. Um, and also she introduced a policy called right to buy, which meant that people who lived in council houses, which like social housing in, in the UK, like um, where council owns a house and you like rent it for like, a good like affordable rent um she introduced a policy where you if you'd lived there for a certain amount of time you could buy your council house at a reduced rate um but that was done whilst not um building any new houses so it just meant that um there's there's now like no social housing in the, well you know the sum but there's not very much social housing in the uk um and uh made some people very very rich because they got to buy um a house super cheap uh i was born the year continues i was born the year thatcher left office but her presence was felt throughout my childhood and even into my 20s and 30s almost everyone i know was affected by the decisions of the thatcher government in some way or another and we're still seeing her ghost all over the place in our current socio-political situation she was a sanit uh, she was a satanic figure in Scottish culture well before I turned her into a cybernetic demon. Um, it's a story likely familiar to many working class families affected by Thatcher's ruinous domestic policies. I'm a 29 year old from the Midlands, born after Thatcher's time, and even I felt the invisible weight of her disastrous rule hover over my hometown like a lingering caco demon in my youth. As the reaction to the mod has proved, Thatcher is as widely hated today as she was back in the day. Um, okay, I'm guessing this is back to the guy who made it. Thatcher's tech base basically started as a joke. At the start of the winter coronavirus not lockdown last year, 
I was playing a lot of the original Doom on my computer and fancy making a map for my pals to play. Not long after I started messing with the Doom Builder, I saw a tweet where he joked that if he was sent to hell, he would spend entire entirety scouring the place for Thatcher. I thought that would make for a fun wee project. The game grew arms, legs and horns from there as my pans, pals began suggesting more and more ridiculous things to include. Uh, despite the support the game has gotten from the typically left-leaning games press at large there's been some resistance too some people argue that reviving Thatcher as a mechanical cyber demon and shooting her square in the face with a shotgun is a bit much nah uh, I don't think I've gone any further than the many others who have satirized, satired Maggie over the years says Purvis James Lano had John Constantine facing off against her demonic form all the time in his Marvel um Comics run of the 80s and 90s, and the Michael Gove puppet even wanked over a resurrect of Thatcher in last year's horrendous Spitting Image remake. Yeah, they tried to remake Spitting Image, and it was just really naff, um, which was like a satire show with puppets from sort of Thatcher's tenure. Uh, the game pays homage to demonic depictions of Thatcher throughout history, and I hope any detractors will quickly realise I'm just doing a wee joke that's been told many times before. Would the Iron Lady really be upset or offended by a daft computer game? A fan seemed to think so. Um, quickly glazing over the irony of the self-professed champions of free speech being so quick to try and censor a work of art, we move the questions on. It's my game, and the people that say you should keep politics out of games will just have to deal with that. Purvis says, the latest Call of Duty had you taking missions from Ronald Reagan, and it's one of the best-selling games in recent years. I think people must enjoy seeing politicians in video games. Yeah, that's true. I've not, I've not played it or uh, really seen it much. Uh, that just tech face. Um, oh, someone from Hades is in it, isn't it as well? Uh, yeah, it seems like quite involved. Um, I think it's probably quite difficult to, quite difficult to to make, right? We get a British Gauss gun. We can get a Trident launcher. Oh, it's tenants. It's tenants. Lager. Okay, and silk. A silk cut. Uh, okay, someone else appears. Oh, okay. We'll definitely just see Tony Blair. Um, okay. Uh, Shahi is saying, as someone who's from outside the UK, what is the extent of the hate that Thatcher faces in the UK? Um, yeah, it's definitely a bit of a... Well, it's, it does sort of depend on who you ask. To some people, she's like a... You know, someone who took hard decisions. Um, Paul says, the factor is hated by the poor and loved by the rich. Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, it does sort of depend on who you ask. Oh? What have I done? What have I done? Okay, so pressing... Tab, I think, opens up a map. That's interesting. Not sure if it's useful, but it's interesting. Was this? Yeah. Oh my god, person as well. I'm bothering shooting them because actually most people I seem to be able to just thwack. I don't know what the I don't know what the fags actually do. Okay, they're health. They are health. Okay. There was a door that I was in. Fists are much more effective, Secret Asian Dan says. Yeah, they do seem to, like the Gun actually doesn't seem that useful. That useful. I might use it again in a bit, but oh, hello. Okay. Oh. Didn't want that. But it won. So I won. I think I'm starting to get the controls. There's a reason, Ding Dong, which. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Bubble Boy is rightly saying in terms of Shahaya's question about what um, people 
in the present day feel about Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> That's not a door. Um, yeah, Ding Dong Witch is dead got to need a lunch key for this door. Uh, when she died, uh, people tried to get Ding Dong Witch is dead to um, number one in the charts. And I think, yeah, I think it got to number two. And did they... I'm not sure if they did play it in the end. Or they played a bit of it or something. I'm going to punch him. Uh, you have to get the timing right with the punch, though, so that you don't end up hurting yourself a lot. A bit more health. Okay, I'm not dying this time, so this is good. But I'm going to quickly save it. Um, new save game. Uh, calling it Tom One because <laughs> I feel like that's what I called every. Oh yes. Can I get more than 100% health anyway? Am I just wasting it if I pick it up and... Yeah, I think I'm just wasting it if I pick it up and, don't, and can't use it. Ammo. 19 ammo. Uh, they didn't play it. BBC cited political bias as a concern, which to be fair is valid. Uh, a little bit. They probably could have... They probably could have played... Oh, big box of ammo. I think... I think they could have got away playing it. So was there anything useful in here? Because we did go in here and there was like the invisible there was sort of the invisible monster or is there just a load of stuff to collect? Let's like clear the outside of the um honk. Oh my god it's the invisible goose the invisible goose that's not the game what is it? Come on um, mischievous goose. What's it called? Is that the key? No. Is it gonna explode if I? No. Oh, what does this do? That's like a switch, isn't it? Didn't seem to do anything though. Wait, secret Asian Dan saying yes, you had it before. Wait, what did I do? I don't seem to be able to get through that, that's disappointing. They're the invisible hand guide. No, can't get through there. I can hear lots of monsters though. I feel like that's probably important. Oh! No, I don't know. That's useful. Okay, we've got 67% health. We're doing better than before. Can jump off on that? Yeah, I can. Oh! Oh, crikey, lots of skulls. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of all these skulls. This is reminding me of Hades now, with the skulls. How much armor can I have? I've only got 31% health. So I wonder whether... Damn it. Uh, Alex Craig saying... Yeah, this MIDI soundtrack totally slaps. Was this the same OST from the original Doom that was remade for this version? Well, it's got the um, UK National Anthem in it, so I'm guessing that they have remade it. No, 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 not that one. What was it? Tom 1? That's what we want, isn't it? Okay, how much? I can't remember what I oh, but I can't remember exactly what we've done. 3% armor, 86% health. Is going to come back? Yeah, he is. Do I have any, any ammo? I don't have any ammo. If I can get... Okay. We have ammo. Oh, I want whatever that is. Oh, Guinness! There's a pint of Guinness. I don't know what that does. Am I drinking it, do we think? 
Oh, nine pe- Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I've wasted, like, a good weapon, I think. I think you get, like, Guinness piss in it, right? Is helpful. Oh, okay, more milk. You only have to be lucky once. A link's allowed. Oh yes, Scepter Shift. Put it in the put it in the chat and we can have a look. Um I don't know, it might to be fair, it might automatically block it, but I can ding dong the witch is gone. But I can I can block it, presumably. So there seems to be something up there. That seems to be somewhere we might want to go. But I don't know how I would get there. Can I jump on top of this? Oh yes I can. Go on! No, I can't go up there. Gameplay screen! Sorry. Oh my goodness. This is taking me back to trying to treat uh trying to um teach seminars during um the pandemic. And I'd always Oh see I can urinate on the monster and it kills the monster, okay. Uh... Oh, okay, it's like amazing. It's a really good weapon. Surely he's gonna come. Come on. Chat is the new game. Oh, lots of ammunition. I'm going back to my. I don't want all those heads to come, the flying heads. I wasn't a fan of those. I don't know if I can get that. What happens if I shoot a can? Oh, a door. Oh no, that's the door over the other side of. I like getting it, but I more or less indoctrinated into the dark beer religion courtier of a Scottish friend of mine. Um, I went to Ireland, to um, Dublin on holiday and was like, yeah, and then realised, oh, I've got a shotgun. And realised I didn't like it. And I didn't like whiskey either, so I was a bit like, I do feel like I'm, I've am gone on holiday to a place where I'm just not keen on any of the things I could. What's that? Is this good? Is this good? Everything's green? Do I want everything to be green? Am I, like, wasting valuable time of having good skills here or something? No! I don't think this is going to be a particular night vision. I don't think this is going to be a particularly successful stream in terms of um, being good at the game. Okay, so we can get if we can get the Guinness, that did seem to help us out, didn't it? Ammunition. Was it back here? A bunch of health and stuff. Right. No, definitely still already got all that stuff. We don't want to get that stuff again. The shotgun was actually worth having, compared to everything else. Lots of the other stuff was a bit rubbish. Okay, dude's gonna jump out of here. Oh, oh I should just let him come to me, really, shouldn't I? Get oh, the Guinness. Fuck I. <laughs> That's like a Scottish accent. Quinn J. Rose saying, I only like fruity alcohol and the smell of and taste of beer is... Hardly tolerable to me. Um, I don't mind like a Pilsner lager, but um, it's very much not my first choice. So clearly something important is going to be through here. That's good actually, because that one was really hard to beat. I'm going to do it out here actually, because they're going to just shoot me. Um, yeah, I don't want like a Pilsner lager, but a, a um, even like a, is it a Heel, is it a Heli lager? Not such a fan of Okay. The Guinness Pears is a good weapon. Uh, let's 
get a few more things before we go and... I don't know what I'm meant to do with the green vision thing, though. Um, I feel like I sort of wasted that last time. There's ammunition here. Did we not come this way? I like the way the tree just moves like this. It's just a 2D thing, so... It just moves depending on what angle you're watching it from. Uh, who, who, I can't remember who it was with the link. Septile ship. Yeah, do send us that link for... Oh! Um, do send us that link. Okay. I think we're going to go and face the... Oh. I can definitely hear a monster of some description. But I was going to go and face the... It's weird because it feels like that exit is every single side of the... Where's the where's the grave again? So I guess we can say in this world of Thatcher's big mother. Is that a reference to the original Doom? I'm afraid I do not have the Okay. Okay, here we are. Okay. Come on. Okay, do I get given the shotgun just here then? Because I now, I now... She found her grave. <laughs> you got the Winchester. Okay, I have the Winchester. So I can get that, but I don't really know what it does. Everything's going to go green. Which is great. It is great to be able to see everything quite so well. The shotgun is also just a fantastic. But other than that, does it help me in any way? This feels like it's... A, is that a blue key on top? No, I think that's a person. I did think that that... But that's, oh, it's a red post box, isn't it, I think? I think it's meant to be. I do, if everything could be green like this for the rest of the game, I would be a big fan of that. Oh, I sent the link, did it get blocked? Oh, uh, it's not, it's not even something that I can see to unblock, I'm afraid, the link. I'll have a look, I'll have a Google in a sec, though. Um, it's not even like, it's not even, sometimes if stuff gets, victory to my nose, um, sometimes if stuff comes up and gets blocked, like it will come up on my thing and I can like be like, no, let this through. It's not even done that, I'm afraid. Okay. I think we have cleared this maze. Oh! The secret is revealed. So I'm a big fan of the shotgun. This is making the game much easier to... Oh. Is that... What in hell am I going to catch up? Okay, so this is a new bit. Oh, bother. Come on. Okay, is there a blue key? Can we see a blue key? Or a red key, or no? Blue or carrot? Oh. God, we don't have that night vision anymore. That was very useful. Back by the night vision place. Okay. We'll go round. Which was like opposite the... So that's where we came in. Then we had the other... Then the other side was where... Then there's, there's nothing leading off this side, is there? See, this is my sort of memory of the Doom games as a youngster. Is that they're... Not super clear. 
Um, like that feels like I should be able to press that button. I've opened this door now. That's the grave. We've been to the grave. And I doubt I can get more night vision. Like it feels like there should be a should have been a point to all of this um, maze stuff. That's a heart, not a key. Oh, secret Asian dancers up top. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm ignoring your advice. Where was it? Back here. Oh, up there, like on top of the grave. I think that might just be like a spirit or something. Oh. I think that's just like the spirit of... No, thank you for guessing. It is useful. I think that is... Unless I've like picked something up without noticing. This feels important, but we can't seem to do anything with it. It's Theresa Mays. <laughs> Okay, I'm going back to the bit where we came in to this, like... I mean, we're definitely better off now because we've got the shotgun. That's a major... Imp oh! Oh! Okay, I did not see this before. I think we've opened this door by doing something. I don't know what we did to... Oh! Oh! I mean, that's shooting from far away away. I don't know what we did to open that, but I think... Okay, also, I'm going to save the game. Tom 1 is getting overwritten. Okay. I don't think this is a stealth game. I don't know why I'm sort of playing it like a... Oh, yes. That was like sharpshooter stuff, that was. I think I'm just gonna keep moving. Door closed? They've like closed the bulkheads. Okay, this is quite... Once you get the shotgun, it's actually quite fun. I love backseat game playing, though my brothers never did. I think of, like, when I die... Oh, is it no no other benefit, ripoff. Give... No, she's not. Fuck off. Um, well, I can't even get the health now, because we've got so much health. Because we're doing so well. We're rocking this. But there's health all over the place, but... I mean, let's have it. I hope I never have to give up the... Shotgun, because I'm a big fan of that. Oh. The shotgun doesn't appear to be limited by range in any way. So that's nice. Okay, that's not too much for us to go, that's what I'm going to do. Oh! So I think I need to be careful not to use all my shotgun bullets up. I have a placement socializer. Maybe this is the socializer. Um, oh! I'm going to switch to my... Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh crikey, okay, this, this got a tent, didn't it? Oh! Okay, I would like 
like sniper rifle in this. Okay, I want that. Sometimes it's hard to work out what the game is sophisticated enough to do and what it isn't. Like whether you can shoot over the top of like the um, fence or something. Oh, bother. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. Um. Sean saying, I can't remember the name of it, but wasn't there the name of a time when a lot of land in the UK? Yeah, he has privatised, I guess, a right to buy a extension of that. And yeah, secret Asian Dan saying enclosure during the transition from feudalism to capitalism. Um, well, that's an interesting way to think about it. I mean, I think the ways in which the sort of commons were um, sort of conceptualised... Um, was probably different, I think, to the ways in which... I don't know. I don't know who... Like, the ways in which it was conceived in people's minds, I think, was that this land is just isn't owned. I don't know if, the, like, legally it was owned technically by someone. Um, like, I know any... I'm going to make a video about commons at some point. I meant to do it over the summer because I was like, it's nice weather and I can go up into Dartmoor where there still is some areas that are commons. I can film there. Um... It's getting into winter now, so it'll be less nice to do that, so I might wait till next year, maybe. But at some point, I do want to make a video about it. But, um, like, I know that the areas of the commons that still exist there um, are, like, owned by people, but some... If you own the right house, then you are technically a commoner, and you have the, uh, like, the right to use that. Um, so you can dancing, intellectual property in the new enclosure of the commons. Um, that is uh, sort of an art, like, I don't know if anyone has seen um, a video I made, I think more recently than I think I did, but I made a video, has a horrible thumbnail I think, um, sort of about copyright, I think it's called Should We Abolish, it's amazing how um, easy it is to forget videos that I've made. It should be abolished copyright. Um, it sort of uses Katy Perry. A Katy Perry song was the thing. Oh, so you could, oh thank you. Oh, I'm glad you saw I always assume no one's ever seen my things. But um, uh, yeah, I sort of want to make that argument, a similar argument about um, uh, sort of enclosure and using that as a way into talking about more modern stuff. I sort of want to use that um, again, and I think I'm just going to unashamedly be like, I've sort of made a similar argument before in a video, um, back when I wasn't quite so good at making videos, and so I'm going to do it again. I think um, I was really worried about, like, oh, I can't make that argument again, but... Okay, so... No, I don't want to... Blue Tom 1. Calling it Tom 1 does feel very much like if I'd, um, I don't know, like saving it on my brother's PlayStation or something. Okay. Sharpshooter, look at that. Capitalism and, and intellectual property incentive to keep people stupid and dependent. I mean, yeah, like, keep pushing people off, um common land, like, you know, one consequence, whether it was an aim or not, is sort of yours to judge, but was that it forced people into cities and they couldn't be self- oh, I'm stuck. Um, they sort of couldn't be self-reliant in a way that they could have been previously. I think I'm just stuck behind this tree. This is the most embarrassing way to lose at this game. Oh... Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna loot the game. <laughs> oh man. See it takes actually takes skill to be a Twitch streamer. I, I respect I respect it now more now than I did previously. 
Um, crikey, it's all going on down here, though, isn't it? I'm do one. I'm just gonna run in. How much? How much percent? Oh, crikey! Oh, I've still got. I've still got the um. I think I've still got Guinness best. I do, but I don't need it for these guys. Oh, do you know what? Get my shotgun back out. No poll tax. So the poll tax was also a policy that Margaret Thatcher introduced, which um, community charge. It was um, it was like its official name, but essentially it was like a sort of flat sort of council tax thing, I believe. I might be able to mischaracterise that. Um, which obviously any sort of tax that is flat in that way is going to mean that you know it's inherently regressive right because you pay the same if you're super rich as if you're um, super poor um, you know the reason we like say there was like big campaigns where people like, would refuse to pay it I want to get that Winchester I would like that, please. <laughs> Labour isn't working, is like the famous, oh dear. Her famous, uh, one of her famous ad, ad campaigns, pro like election campaign um, sort of posters, uh, is often celebrated as like one of the best uh, electoral posters and slogans. Uh, Prime Minister. If I can remember who. So I want to get through these doors, and then I sort of won't let me. And it was the same the other side, which is interesting. I think I have to go through that middle bit that killed me last time. I'm going to save the game first. Oh, this feels old school, like saving the game loads of times, so that if I. Oh. You know, so that if we die, um, don't have to go back too far. It's kind of fun. Remember, remember when games were like this? Um, yeah, there's something at the moment where um, one of the guys who like first came up with. Uh, Spider-Man are like is trying to take back the ownership of it and it's one of those things where it's like in some respects yeah good, like you know good on good on the person that created it or like the oh well or the you know ancestors of that person are trying to get the copyright back and it's one of those where like yeah you're like on one level good on them I'd rather they had it than Disney, but on another level, you know, Spider-Man's been around for ages now. Is you know, argue, you know, quite easy to argue that Spider-Man is part of our collective cultural. Um, is that? Is part of our collective cultural, you know, like life more than. Like something, there's a button to press there. Uh, as much as you know, is, as much as Spider-Man is the property of any individual, any you know, person creating Spider-Man, um, it's almost like what's that thing where it's like broke, 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 bespoke thing, where it's like this sort of interesting 
Luke is about to start a shift at Weatherspoons. Please send help. Oh, I hope I hope you at least have some nice customers, Luke. Oh, that looks cool. I like I like this weapon. Do I have to take out that skull? Is that skull a I feel like I'm not using this to expel damage. I want to press that button. Oh, I think that's just to save you if you fall down there. Oh no, we're somewhere else now. Am I going to save it? Oh no, I'm back here. But I am going to save the game. Because we're doing well again. Okay. Bin the magazines. Oh yeah, oh, we did a whole thing about magazines, didn't we, like in a stream quite a while ago. The weird world of Weatherspoons is corporate magazine. Um, although, you know, I think I have said previously, whilst I am not a fan of Weatherspoons for several reasons, I also, you know, it is generally quite expensive to spend any time anywhere um, in the UK, like, you know, if you're, if you're in town and need somewhere to, like, so cafes are expensive, and if you just need somewhere to be for a bit, and actually went, like, like, I guess libraries, um, but, you know, they're not... Oh right, so I think I meant to jump up on here and then I'll pop out. Did it hurt me to be honest? Can we get over this wall? I feel like I should be able to get over this wall. I simply can't. Get killed by an imp. The most recent magazine is a wild ride. Do you read it on your like uh, on your breaks? Is the Weather Spoons magazine a good good break fodder? I'm gonna put away this pig. Is that number four? Okay, I'm gonna put that one away until I can actually work out how to use it. I'm probably not Do I have less help when I reload the game? Hida Luchtenveld says, um, Hey Tom, just curious about why Thatcher kept winning elections. What is the general analysis and do you have your own take? Um, I mean, in her, in her first... So her first election she won because um, the sort of prevailing uh, pre-existing Labour government wasn't too popular. Um, there have been a lot of sort of uh, social unrest, I guess you would say. Like, there have been a lot of strike action. Um, you know, that's where that, like, Labour isn't working slogan that we saw on one of the things comes from. Um, and so, you know, that was a lot of her, but she wasn't a particular po particularly popular um, prime minister during her first. Um, she was elected three times during her first. Um, I'm sure I think we call it now. Term in office. Term. Sorry, that's not the word I'm looking for. Why can't I bloody jump over this thing? During her first term, she wasn't very popular. Um, then she did a good, she did a little war. Um, so. Um, so Falklands got invaded. I wonder if we can find a um, 
Smithith of Falklands. Uh, so the Falklands got invaded by the um, Argentinian Junta. And... Okay, yeah, so Watching the World uh, is rightly saying in the chat that the uh, Labour isn't working thing came from the fact that they devalued the pound twice. So there was also... Um, I'm trying to think who it was, and they applied for a loan from the um, IMF, I believe. Um, uh, during the balance of balance of goods, balance of payments crisis. Um, so yeah, so like the previous Labour government, um, which they didn't actually have to do really, but. Um, but, uh, yeah, so James Callaghan's Labour government weren't particularly popular. Um, the, like, how bad things were is often overblown. Like, um, I think I've previously recommended the podcast Trash Future, which is mostly just a load of fun. Um, and had, um, I mean, listened to some of it while I was on the run today, but had um, Abigail from... Uh, philosophy tube on it um recently uh on the la on the most recent episode but they they quite often talk or have recently talked about how the so-called winter of discontent which sort of pre-dated thatcher and also the uh what's the other what's the other thing called the um opec crisis like these things are sort of like remembered as really really bad times in the uk but weren't quite as you know they were sort of overblown by the media a lot um so they're remembered as much worse than they actually were but um but after her first um uh sort of term in office she actually wasn't particularly or, or during toward the end of it wasn't particularly popular um however then um the argentinian junta um invaded um Invaded the Falklands Islands. Uh, should we watch it? Have we got like a quick doco about the Falklands Islands? Um, Kings and Generals. Let's watch this one because that. Um, who Tristan from Step Back History, I believe, right or writes or wrote um, at some point at least for um, Kings and Generals. Uh, let me know volumes wise, but uh, yeah, invaded uh, the Falklands Islands, um, which are like a sort of not particularly strategically important um set of islands in the atlantic ocean not particularly strategically important to argentina or to the uk um they uh yeah so luke saying in the chat that um sort of thatcher was able to use the well yeah so so she wasn't particularly popular but then the falklands came along and everyone loves a good war so the falklands happened um the argentinians invade because uh they called it las malvinas i think um they decided that they would try and take over the falkland islands did for a very short amount of time until the UK, you know, the British army went and retook it and navy, etc. Um let's watch a little let's watch a little bit of this documentary. Um, let me know how volume is. The Falklands War. Also Um and uh, yeah, but and also like sunk a big I mean we'll find out, we'll find out. Uh, watching the world UK is saying in the chat there's a really great scene from the crown uh, from after the Falklands where the episode protagonist is lost at why everyone is celebrating the Falklands when unemployment was through the roof so somber. I've not seen much of the... I watched the first series I managed to get through. And it is interesting, actually, how The Crown does manage to do a lot of social history. Um, it still does a lot of, like, glorifying the royals. Um, I like Naomi Klein's work. I've not read loads and loads of it. Um... Oh, brother. Uh, let's have a quick. Known as the Malvina War was a unique conflict, both in terms of its participants and the way it was. Fought. I might turn this up actually. I think this is probably quieter, isn't it? 
But this really Board. turned the tide. Although the losses elected. were relatively low, and the status of the territory the sides fought for remained disputed, the war changed the political fates of the governments both in Argentina and the United Kingdom, increased patriotic very, fervor in both countries, and like influenced very their mainstream culture. Political war, Welcome to our like video on the, the Falklands War, political voted for it. by our patrons and YouTube members. At if you're interested in the history uh, of this era, so don't forget to check out our second opinion, channel, The Cold but, War. The link is in um, the top right corner. But like, we're very much more import important for Thatcher as like a... Um, like a political gamble to like be popular than it was the actual usefulness of um, capturing the Falklands. Um, I like people who live in the Falkland Islands... Uh, you know, they have had done referenda and they would like to continue being British. Like, and that's, um, you know, like, cool. Like, that's, that's that's good for them. So, like, there is there is that as aspect of it. Um, uh, yeah. This video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Watching the world thing Forget maybe it was another show about mobile but it game. could have been The Crown. Um, no, no, like, The Crown is quite good at that social history. It wouldn't surprise me. And Thatcher has been in, like Gillian Anderson's been playing Thatcher, I think I'm correct in saying. Um, but I've not seen the more recent ones. We're going to skip through this Raid Shadow Legends advert. The Falkland Islands are an archipelago in the South Atlantic, which has been ruled by Britain since 1833. It is 13,000 kilometers away from Britain and 650 kilometers away from Argentina. And while okay, the Falklands are British territory, Argentina. Argentina has historically had a claim to the islands, which they call Malvina Islas. Argentina had been ruled by a military junta after the 1976 hunter. coup d'etat. Sorry, my a new hunter, led by the acting president General Leopoldo Gautieri, Air Brigadier General Basilio Lamidozo, and Admiral. And I think if you, if anyone's seen the Two Popes, which I really enjoyed as a film, um, that talks a lot about Argentina during this period, I think, and the sort of more domestic stuff, um, and was quite was just really interesting in that regard. Jorge Anaya came to power in 1981 amidst a grave economic crisis and civil unrest in Argentina. Like there's some controversy. The Junta viewed the invasion of the Falklands as an opportunity to divert people's attention from internal problems and unite Argentinians around a potential national victory. The Junta knew that the Falklands issue is very sensitive for many Argentinians. A member of the junta, Admiral Anaya, who was the architect of the plan, strongly believed that it would not be difficult to conquer the Falkland Islands due to a small British military presence and the unwillingness of the UK to enter a conflict so far away from Britain. Yeah, I think like they essentially thought it would just be a war, like they'd just take it and the UK would be like, oh, that's, that's a pain. Um... Yeah, they thought it would be like an easy, easy win, essentially. Argentina started the invasion of the Falklands on April 2nd, 1982, with amphibious commando troops under the command of Lieutenant Commander Guillermo Sanchez Sabarots landing near Cape Pembroke. The Argentinian invasion forces were 600 troops strong against 50 to 100 British troops in the Falklands. The Argentines were able to defeat the British in the Moody Brook barracks and then take the government house in Port Stanley. This effectively meant the defeat of the British in the Falklands. Yeah, that's really Argentina interesting. Watching the world in the chat saying that the Falklands did at least solidify the importance of aircraft carriers in wars and the importance of having an, ad an adaptable rifle. It was a training mission where 902 people died. Uh, such good, much worth. Do you mean a training mission for the Argentinians or for the British? Um, I don't know. Like, um, it's interesting. Like, lots of my teachers at school, like I live in like a sort of navy town essentially, um, and so a lot of my teachers at school like used to be in the navy and stuff. Um. And a lot of 
and like uh them fought in the um Falklands I uh and someone that lived near my gran was like the was like uh yeah Royal Navy Medal Corps officer and was like um was like really like set like saved loads and loads of like I don't know like was quite uh I was the only person to be decorated by both sides that was it because he like obviously like he's a like a navy doctor but like obviously treated people from both sides of the conflict he used to live across the road from my gran um he was a nice nice guy um was able to gain initial success, suffering just. We generally don't have notable or famous people live near me, so that was that's. I think that's probably as close as you get. One casualty. This was the first time a British territory was invaded by a foreign power since World War Two. I think what um Hid is saying in the chat about like um, yeah, Brits like the assertive posture after a long period of imperial decay. Um, hence the popularity boost. Like, yeah, like, people love a good war, don't they? It's like a, that sort of, like, patriotism and, um, you know, then as, like, it, you know, having a unified enemy to hate. Um, like, in many ways, it also, like, I'm like watching the world saying it was sarcasm at the fact that so many people died for a rock and only helped further aid killing people but yeah it was military useful um but um oh right sorry by what i said about yeah no sorry your, your thing about a training mission yeah, yeah 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 um uh yeah so like there was a bit there's like the sort of sinking of the belgrano where thatcher ordered the, i'm sure it'll come up in a bit um thatcher basically ordered um a ship he ordered the navy to sink a ship which uh, is generally assumed to have been turning around to go back to Argentina. And so, um, you know, wasn't, was a pretty horrific thing to choose to do. Um, but in terms of like the reasons for the war, etc., and who it was fought against, wasn't a bad one. Like, you know, you've got people that live in the Falklands who consider themselves to be British, would like to remain British, being invaded by a bunch of fascists. Um, like, you know, not to want to be on the side of Thatcher, but yeah. Um, but the way, but the way she used it was very much to shore up support for a government which wasn't super popular. Britain responded by creating a war cabinet and deciding to send a task force to regain control of the Falklands. Laser Trail, you're right in the chat talking about how, you know, you you suddenly opposing the government. Oh, it's similar with COVID. Like, you know, opposing the government is you're collaborating. You're, you're not helping. This, you, we should be pulling together. The war cabinet was meeting daily, and it is said that Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was very attentive to propositions by the opposition, but was resolute in execution of decisions which had already been made, and never looked back. The task force was gathered hastily, and started setting sail for the Falkland Islands on April 4th. Some vessels of the task force left Britain as late as May 12th. Is that Portsmouth? The task from? force consisted of 127 ships, 43 Royal Navy. I'm going to say that's Portsmouth. I don't know where. I don't know where. I think someone was meant to put the some of them coming from Plymouth, and they put them too high up. Navy vessels. 22 Royal Fleet Auxiliary ships and 62 merchant ships, including two aircraft carriers. Britain had 42 aircraft versus Ocean. 122 Ocean. Argentine Ocean aircraft. That point. Britain's strategy was to secure complete air and sea dominance around the Falkland Islands through its navy and aircraft before the deployment of ground troops. Tell you what, something we, nev we never do military history on this channel, but um. 
I've got watching the world as a, a sort of minor expert. Um, again, hello, Jay. Thank you for thank you for joining us. It's always nice if people just say hi. Uh, welcome. We're just we're currently learning about the Falklands War. Oh, hello, Ryan of the Angels as well. Angles. Angels. Britain wanted to create a so-called exclusion zone for 200 miles around the islands to prevent any Argentinian vessels operating I around think the Britain Falklands. Britain wanted the US to Argentina to tried to counter this well. strategy by surrounding the British Navy gathering in the northeast of the Falklands from the south and the northwest of the islands. On May 1st, British operations on the Falklands opened with the Black Buck 1 attack on the airfield at Stanley, which did minimal damage to the aircraft runways of the Falklands, but at the same time prevented the Argentines from stationing their air force directly on the islands. Very good graphics. It got a million and a half views, so it was worth it was worth doing those good graphics, wasn't it? Um Oh, it must be difficult making videos. It's very much outside the On May 2nd, the British submarine HMS Conqueror sank Argentinian light cruiser ARA General Belgrano, yeah, so the... which forced the southern part of the Argentine fleet to go back to the mainland. So the Belgrano's always been like a sneak of the week saying, that's my voice. That is my voice. Um, uh, yeah, the Belgrano's like a controversial one in whether it was turning around to go back um, and whether, you know, the call to sink it was a... I don't know if it would have been a war crime, but, like, do you know what I mean? Whether it was a... Whether it was, like, a just decision to take out a boat that was coming to attack, you know, the British the British Navy or whether the Royal Navy, or whether it was, like, a attack, you know, just sinking it whilst it was heading off. And effectively killed the plan of surrounding the British Navy. 323 crew members of the General Belgrano died in this incident, which was almost half of the total Argentine casualties during the war. Oh, you can't Argentina see it. retaliated Sorry. two days. Sorry, you missed you, you missed a ship sinking. It's very it was just as I was talking about how good the graphics were, wasn't it? I was like, this is this looks very good. And I was like, not going to show it to you, but I promise you, it looks very, very good. Days later, with the sinking of the destroyer HMS Sheffield with an Exocet missile. Oh, I just didn't know that. I didn't know that. Britain was not able to secure complete dominance of the air and sea around the Falklands, but still decided to proceed with deployment of its troops to the islands, despite the risks. On May 21st, the 4,000 men of 3 Commando Brigade were put ashore as follows. 2nd Battalion Parachute Regiment, 2 Para from the RORO Ferry Norland, and 40 Commando Royal Marines from the amphibious ship HMS Fearless were landed at San Carlos. 3rd Battalion Parachute Regiment, 3 Para on Reminds the amphibious of, ship HMS Intrepid. Can you remember when they brought out like a iPad game of the Hitman games and it was like sort of like a board game and like... I don't think I've imagined this. Hitman Go, I think it was called. That's what this reminds me of, with them all being like pieces from a game. Uh, watching the world, who is clearly far more of an expert on this than I am, um, if it wasn't fleeing, I think it's classed as fair because it would be coming back to help the fight. I think not. A, I'm not a lawyer, much less a naval lawyer. Morally, not even a debate though. Um, Secret Asian Dan saying a parachute regiment deployed from a boat. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I, I well, I don't know whether they were they flew quickly and jumped out or what, but um, uh, I definitely remember two of my teachers being like, one of them got off the boat here and the other one there, and they met in the middle. Landed at Port San Carlos, all right, Green all Beach, right, I'm it and on. 45 commando from RFA Stormness were landed at Ajax Bay, Red Beach. Argentina strengthened its attack on the British Navy with an aim to destroy as much supply and support as they could to make the lives of British troops in the Falklands as hard as possible. Alec Pope defending the following vessels right were talk. destroyed between May 21st and May 25th. HMS Ardent on the 21st of May, 
HMS Antelope on the 24th of May, also lost on this day was HMS Coventry, and MV Atlantic Conveyor on the 25th of May, along with a vital cargo of helicopters, runway building equipment and tents. The initial now. British Lots plan was to move troops in helicopters over the island due to the very difficult landscape of the Falklands for marching. The destruction of the helicopters was a very heavy blow for the land campaign of the British troops, since the land troops were forced to move on foot instead. Argentina had 2,000 of its troops in the East Falklands, 1,000 at Goose Green, and around 10,000 in the Stanley area. It is necessary to note that, despite numerical superiority, the majority of the Argentine troops were conscripts, which obviously meant that the Argentines were at a disadvantage in comparison to the professional British troops. Come back to that in a second. Uh, JCU J. Quadale, um, so asking in the chat, general question, I guess. Uh, is there a reason you don't have a references work cited section in your videos as someone who makes long form persuasive essays? Uh, so much talk about the ethics of journalism, why not citations? Um, uh, I do, like, I do, so uh, patrons uh, get a sort of access to a whole bank of, like, uh, the scripts to the videos, which are, like, properly formatted, like, uh, essays with, like, you know, everything uh very extensively cited like probably to a you know a slightly pedantic level um uh but i am thinking of do and and i also try and i try and like mention stuff that i'm referencing as well so so if i do if i have a quote on the screen i'll do like the um uh, the sort of Chicago reference, the sort of full reference that will go in a footnote um, on the bottom of the screen. Um, and I will also, like, I tend to say where something is from as well. So I will go, as you can read in the book, on on it, or as um, whoever, you know, first name, second name says in their book, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, and then do the quote. So I will also try and like say where, and I will try and use quotes as well, rather than just stating, rather than just like stating stuff. Um, uh, but what I am go, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, partly because in my next video, this um, this sort of matter comes up, and so it made me think about it. Um, is that I think I'm going to put them on my website and just then I can just put like a link. Cause I think sometimes like sometimes the description of a YouTube video isn't actually the best place to have the, um, like a list of, uh, list of references. So I think what I'm going to do is do a link to the page where the video is on my website and then have like a properly formatted list of references there. Um, cause it's sort of, yeah, no, it's something that uh, I've been, thinking about in terms of it, it in my next video which i'm painfully close to finishing writing now um it um yeah that's an issue that comes up and so i was like actually do you know what i am gonna it's always something that i've put behind or sort of behind the paywall of the page patreon patreon but um yeah no i am gonna make that a more easily accessible thing i guess um uh, James Gilbert, off topic, but is it just me or does the war videos narrator sound like an AI version of David Mitchell with no sarcasm? Yes, yes, they do. Uh, it's the yeah, similar accent. I, I don't know what David Mitchell's accent is, but it is sort of it must be southeast in some way. Um, uh, don't know what's more boring, you speaking or the video. Fantastic, thanks. Um, uh, I don't know, if you find it boring, then you're wasting your time. Um, that's fine. Uh, Llewellyn uh, has joined us. Hello, welcome. Um, nice to have regulars back ever. And then also said, uh, what's the postmodernism video? The postmodernism video with the terrible, terrible sound. Um, although it's nice to know that I've got videos like that where I 
can look back and go, I'm, I'm definitely better at making videos now than I was then. Um, you know, it's nice to know that I've at least improved on stuff. Oh, Caritas has lots of facts about the Falklands. Uh, so a bit of trivia for you all. After the Falkland War ended, an Argentine general made a telephone call to a village in southern Italy. It was tapped by MI6 and basically tried to get a refund for the arms they bought from the Camorra. Uh, the Camorista replied by telling the general to start another war if he doesn't want to keep the arms stored. Uh, YouTube will ban your account for spam if you put them all in the description. Heads up, people. I think you can put a lot. Of, I don't think putting loads of links because some people like some creators make a lot of money out of like affiliate links to like amazon and so you know you go on some uh you go in some video descriptions for some youtubers and it's like this is my camera this is my microphone this is my tripod this is my and it's like links to absolutely everything um so i think you probably can get away with quite a lot but yeah my like i don't know if i find the i've got my script my latest video here actually and i do I do sometimes do a slightly obnoxious number of references uh, to the point where I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 sort of works cited uh, in the video so far. Um, uh, which might be, but I th I, yeah, I'm I think I'm going to put them on the website, and then they can I can format them in a way where it is useful, rather than it being like, you know, the video description might not be the best place for them to be. Um, but uh, yeah, and that's a video that, in my head, is a slightly more casual one i get like i don't know is one that isn't a it's not super like abstract and conceptual like some of my others um blaze chosen you can always put them in a pinned comment if the description doesn't work yeah um although i tend to save the uh pinned comment for a link to the patreon um uh because i've got bills to pay um but but yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Cause I th so I think that could work quite well of just having references here and then just having them really clearly, um, really clear and well formatted on on the uh, there. But yeah, I've almost finished writing that latest, that next video. Um, it is a sort of, it's interesting. It's a sort of like, in some ways it's like a, res well, I mean, it's touching on, it's sort of, I'm guessing the one that, um, Jay Quardale was, uh, I'm guessing the video, you know, was a, was the sort of one about Johnny Harris and the World Economic Forum. Um, and the video I'm working on at the moment is sort of a, sort of a sequel to that one and sort of a sequel to the Elon Musk video in that it talks about um, sort of sponsored techno optimism on YouTube. Um, but it's interesting doing that kind of, like, because it, it's sort like it's essentially like a response video, which is something I've not really done before, and it's really inter like trying to make and like you know I'm still bringing the approach of like video essay to it, like in a way that sometimes has been clashing with that sort of response video type thing, um, and then trying to make it engaging so that it's not just going. Because I think they can sometimes be a bit nitpicky where you're just like, oh, you say this? Well, actually this. Um, and there is a greater end that it is to the argument that I'm making. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's interesting, though. It's, hard, it's like getting the tone right is kind of difficult. Um, oh, thank you for the super chat thingy, my Bob, Paul. That is much, much, much appreciated. Um, that's very kind. Uh Hida is saying, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. There's no real way you can correct me in a chat, is there? I'm very sorry. Um, so I found your video on obscure writing in the softer field, as Pink put it. Very useful and shared it around a bunch. Oh, yeah, that's the, like, why is academic writing so boring one. Um, an interesting man, Stephen Pinker. Oh, very... Um, oh, look, that's the top suggestion. That's obviously doing something right. But, yeah, he... Um, 
Steven Pinker's a sort of in- interesting chap. And, like, I think it's really interesting. Whenever someone, you know, there's always tweets that go around that are like, um, you know, I you know, uh, there was one that was going around the other day that was like, um, the sign of being intelligent or whatever is not being able to speak the sort of uh, inside baseball sort of language of um, of a field, but is actually being able to explain those things to uh, like a normal person from outside the field. And oh, I did pronounce it. I'm glad. I like. I want to be polite. Um, you know, it's being able to explain that, and I'm like always like, yeah, a hundred, a hundred percent. But then at the same time, I like I the existence of like technical terms in the humanities or social sciences or you know softer fields um, uh, is often just as essential as the existence of the like complicated technical language in the sciences or whatever. Um, and it's sort of being able to do both. And I think it's okay that sometimes academics have conversations which are at that higher level. But it's just knowing, it's just sort of judging who you're talking to, right? And picking the right way of explaining something for each scenario that you're in. Um, like in my videos, I don't shy away from using technical language, but I will tend to explain what that language is means generally like i try not to just slip in a hegemonic right and i try to not not just slip in technical terms and then not explain them um but i won't not use them because actually i think if someone goes away from my videos having learned what one of those technical terms means then that's cool like i'm i'm i I want that sort of what i what i want right um paul saying yes being able to explain is a big plus but things are so complex that it can be that you can't explain to just anyone who has no knowledge at all eric saying academic language scares the normies um yeah and i think like i think if you're if you're doing it just to i don't know show off and to be obnoxiously like or i'm very clever then yeah that's obviously that's not helpful but um here to saying i read spivak for a class and shared the video around for people debating whether she's just flexing for the sake of it yeah and like i don't know what what um what spivak piece was it was it can the subaltern speak I, i would but like it's that thing like where you're often you are taking a journal article from a and like journal articles aren't intended to be for like they are sort of intended for an academic audience and that's sort of understood like i think there's definitely questions to be asked about why um you know uh, public funding systems for universities tend to give greater weight in terms of judging an academic's output to those public to though like, you know publishing in a journal rather than publishing a in a book that is for a wide audience and there's um important questions to be asked about that right what why are those pieces valued in a way that others aren't but yeah Llewellyn saying I think it's about giving the audience the tools to ask good questions technical language is great if the audience know how to ask what it means or ask about nuances yeah yeah it's that thing of like knowing trying to get a sense of the audience that you've got um a really accessible video would usually start with the foundation by explaining it in as easiest terms as possible and expand it from there act one is usually an orientation for the audience isn't it eric saying i mean look at what conservatives did something like crt i mean the C the CRT thing is doesn't even engage in the sort of theory of it at all. Like it's just a complete like, oh, it sounds, you know, it sounds like something that people could get angry at. So I think there's not really much more of a reason that that was chosen in particular than that. Um, because yeah, it doesn't 
engage in any of the actual ideas from CRT at all. Um, James saying we have the same problem in the biological sciences. It's impossible to express ideas without using discipline. Yeah, um, like, you know, I, I occasionally watch um, videos about sort of science and stuff and there is i think the i think the the example i think i use in this in this video i think is the atmosphere i think like that that like um this is uh like that you could refer you know if i was referring if we were ha yeah I'm not, that's me assuming that no one's a atmospheric physicist or whatever here but like you know if i was having a conversation with my mum about the the area of air that exists between the earth and space we'd call it like i don't know air or the atmosphere as just like a broad term but people for whom that is a specialism We'll talk about the thermosphere and the mesopause and the mesosphere and the stratopause and the stratosphere and the ozone layer and the tropopause and the troposphere. And like, it's okay that we're not in on those. I don't know. I'm like, you need to do that so that you can make the really important discoveries, which then hopefully someone will turn into language that I can understand another time. And that's okay. Um, and I think there's a... I think part of it is that thing of people expect and in some ways maybe for good reasons but like expect uh, can get sort of snooty about the idea that softer fields might also have technical language um, which, I, which I can 100% understand um, Secret Asian Dan saying exactly some ideas perhaps CRT Certainly Hegel can't be communicated to everyone the same way. I wouldn't... I don't really know anything about Hegel. Like, I... I'm sure, like... If I went into the second class of a... Um, introduction to Hegel s series of seminars and I had missed the first one, I would 100% not have a clue what was going on. Jose Pedro Mosquito in the chat saying the, this live stream has an interesting title. It's because up until a moment ago we were playing um, a mod of Doom 2 called Thatcher's Tech Base. Um, I'm tempted to give it one more go. I'm tempted to give it one more go. And then I might bring the stream to a close because I'm just not very good at this game it turns out. It is good fun though. My review of it is yes, this is good fun. This is a fun little. I feel like it's one of those things where maybe no one will. Oh, the I feel like it's one of those things that maybe no one will actually get to the end of it because maybe the novelty sort of wears off. Uh, Paul is saying, I do dislike the use of Latin phrases though as a way of making things less accessible. Yeah, that can be that can be annoying. Um, uh, so I'm gonna turn it down even more, it's probably really quite. It's sort of like it's sort of based on the UK national anthem, isn't it? Sort of um Yeah, I think Latin thrown in obnoxiously is always annoying. Um, uh, because that very often, that generally does tend to feel like an excuse to show off. It's like, it's that thing of like, if someone is using, some, is just finding an excuse to show off their knowledge, it tends to not actually be helpful. Um, whereas um, if it's actually helping things then that's different if you're like if you're using technical language because you've got a really good reason to I genuinely can't get over this blimmin thing yeah then it becomes a bit different 
I don't think this skull thing can be destroyed. I think my aiming here is really good. Um, yeah, I think it depends why you're doing it. Worse than Latin is untransliterated Greek. I don't know anything about Greek. That is well outside my... Um, I did. I was um, the phrase lucky enough, I suppose, in some regards, but also didn't really like it. Uh, went to grammar school and we did um, Latin in our first... couple of years of school. Um, a skull might be a key, but I can't get over the bloody, like, bump thing. Like, I'm just stuck here. Like, I'm, I'm confused, basically. I'm very confused. Uh, can I go down here and come out? Like, is there another way in? can't like undo those doors. Eric saying Doom. Oh, were you not here when we started playing Doom? I picked up something. I've got 11% health, so I'm pretty, pretty screwed if uh, things don't go absolutely perfectly from now on. Are you playing as a Northern Miner with a shotgun? Uh, I don't think our character has been given any real... I think I'm going to die quite soon. Although I feel like I've really successfully cleared out. I'm going to save. I'm going to save it as a. I save it as a new save game, and I'm going to save it as Tom Two. So I've not got very much health, so I don't want it to be our only save game because this might not be. Like, how do I get out now? It feels like I should be able to get across there, but... Oh, there we go. I'm gone. Maybe I'm just prejudiced because I'm into a comprehensive school. Uh, can you turn the game volume down a tad? Yeah, I can. Sorry. It's really hard to get a sense of how... Um, how loud it is for everyone else. Because it just comes through. No, 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 no. I want Tom... 2 even though I think this is going to be too... Because, like, yeah, I can't get across there, and I feel like I need to get across there. I don't feel like... killing everyone down there, actually. Like, I simply don't know how to get across this. Oh, no, no, I don't want to waste my um, my Guinness piss. This is the future Elon's trying to build. I've not played the more recent... Because there is a relatively good... A relatively recent, sorry, tomb, isn't there? Oh, yeah, if I sprint, does that help? Oh, what does that say? Oh, there we go. There's National, National Miners Union. NUM. No, like, I just don't... Like, I've got lots of dead guys down there. But I just can't seem to... You could not jump in Doom, but I don't know what is needed to complete this mod. So this is Doom 2 that this is based on. I don't know if that makes any difference. When I get there, I'm going to have loads of ammunition. No, that didn't help. I knew that. Like, shooting the skull doesn't help. So I don't know what to do. Oh, maybe, like, now I've done that, I can go round one of those... Because there was, like, doors either side, wasn't there? 
that I previously couldn't get through. Uh, this place has NUM written all over it. The NUM, the National Union of Mine Workers, was the um, union that went on strike, for the most part at least, um, during the minor strike of, I want to say, 82 to 81 to 82. Someone might be able to fact check me on that. Um, uh, which was a sort of important episode in Thatcher's tenure. So these feel like they are like alternate ways in, but you can't actually get into them. But it doesn't feel like coming back here is a step forward. This very much, if it very much feels like you have to go through it. Oh, some health though, that will help. Um, for those of you that are only just, uh, have only just got here, um, milk is health for, uh, oh, okay, so I've managed to, oh no, I can't get past the tree. 84 to 85. Sorry, that was bad history on my part. Um. So I can't work out what we're meant to do after this bit. Start. Oh, the map. Yes. Where are we? I think we're the... Okay, so we're here. And it does definitely seem like we're meant to go further that way, doesn't it? Because, like, there's loads of stuff up there that we've yet to... We've yet to... Yeah, there's loads, all this stuff down the bottom we haven't... We have yet to... See. So... Hard this, isn't it? Hard to, oh, there's some ammunition there, at least. Is there? No, I can't actually use that. Can we go round there? No. I'm pretty sure we're right in thinking we have to go that way. We just have yet to work out how to get over the blooming tiny little wall. Which definitely looks like... Like lower than walls that we've jumped over previously. Like that is higher than that wall. Oh, bother. Whoops. No, not Tom One. I mean the loading times are excellent. We can we can praise them for that. So it's definitely this. I think whoever said about not having to aim uh vertically was a hundred percent correct. Oh bother. What am I meant to do? Are we going to just get defeated by this game? Because I can't... Look out to... Can't look out to get past this. Is there a walkthrough, do you reckon, just to get past this bit? I'm going to see if there's... I don't think anyone's going to have created a walkthrough of it just yet, surely. No, maybe someone else has played it and can, can help us get... get through. Yes! First 20 minutes. I feel like... Can you click the skull like a door? I don't think we can. Okay, so... I think I have tried. I think I've tried that. Right. Oh. Right. So this is where we were. Oh. 
I'm not sure they got over it either. This is what this is what people love to watch, right? Is someone watching someone else play a, play a video game. I think I might. Do we think they're just gonna give up as well? Oh, maybe getting to the skull is getting the, maybe that is getting the, um, getting the key. Maybe we just have the key now. No. Like maybe having been on that is like, yes, you have. Or maybe I forgot. Like maybe we did pick something up and it just never... Oh, lots of ammunition. That's nice. The power was inside me the whole time. Maybe the power was inside me the whole time. Because we've done a bunch of stuff. Oh. Oh, that wasn't so good. Tom just casually starting a reaction channel. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Tom 1, because I think even back here, we actually had the ability to go and do that. So I think just, oh, and then, then there was that red skull. So I think we've actually got the keys and we've just not realized. Oh, look, more stuff. Oh, this is fun. What does it say? Ah, I want to read the... I want to enjoy the... I think one of them just shot the other one. I want to appreciate the game design. Stop this. Vote conservative. I think it's being... I think it's the Union Jack being painted red. Protect and survive was a... thing. Like a nuclear thing. Britain is great again. Vote conservative. Vote conser that would have been the re-election campaign, I would guess. Can I not get that? Because I've got too many... I must have too many of the bullets for this. It's John Major's Major John. Like, so I should now be able to... Go, 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 go. Being shot from behind, that's not pleasant. I just wanted to pick up that. I feel like this actually might be the... S oh, we need a red key to open this door. Blimey, you need all the keys, don't you? Oh, sorry, I've loaded something else accidentally. Oh, dear. No, 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 that's back the way we came. Okay, I'm probably going to bring the stream to a close in a minute, but... I just... I'm just so... I'm just really glad we got past that bit that we were stuck on for so long. Keep calm and carry on. Keep calm and carry on, which is now like something that is associated with Britishness. Um, it's famously not actually, no, not famously because no one, knew, but like, was actually not. So this actually was not used in the war because it was it was like a draft for um, potential posters and slogans. But it was deemed too patronising 
by the people that were putting the stuff together. Um, but it was just, it was only, it was then like revo uh, someone put together like a, um, I want that. Oh, okay. Um, someone was putting together like a sort of, what do you call it, exhibition of um, Second World War posters and brought that out as like an example of uh, one that didn't make the cut and people sort of embraced it and it, everyone went mad for it like a few years ago. Everything was like keep whatever and carry on. Anyway, um, I'm going to bring the stream to a close after a good amount of Thatcher's tech-based playing. Um, if you want to download the Doom mod in which you try to send Margaret Thatcher back to hell, you can do so. Um, by heading to, I don't know, I don't know, just Googling that, just tech base, I guess. Uh, as we've seen, once you get the hang of it, good fun. Good, honest, good, honest fun. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining the stream once again. It is always, always a pleasure. Um, it's been a wonderful few hours, a couple of hours and a half, two, two and a half hours. Um, I'll be back next week. Did I have a plan for next week? I think I did, and then I, I had a temp, I had a potential plan, but I think we might do something different. Um, suggestions for videos to watch, games to play, etc., etc., are always, always much appreciated. Do send them through. Um, as ever, seven p.m. UK time. Uh, or whatever that is where you are. Generally, I schedule the stream and set up the watch page a um, good few hours before. So it should be, uh, it should pop up on your YouTube homepages or at least be um, possible to find if you head to the channel uh, next Wednesday. Um, but yeah. Oh, Iona says, thanks, Tom, was my first time joining live. Usually we have more of a sort of, discuss discursive theme i guess something to chat about or like a video to watch and discuss um rather than just watching me very very badly playing a game so maybe this isn't the best articulation of what the stream can be but thank you for joining us anyway iona um do 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 that do do that again if if you so wish um yeah i'm hope hopefully by the next stream, I should have finished writing, if not filmed, my next video and therefore be in the throes of editing. Um, I think I will stream next week, um, you know, sometimes when it's, it might be the week after, sometimes when I'm like really trying to get an edit finished, I, um, you know, might skip a stream to just like be able to focus on it for the afternoon. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, anyway, thank you everyone for joining. It has been a pleasure as ever, and I will look forward to seeing some of you uh, next week. Ta-ra.